Hello, my name is Henk Wijmers and I'm with the Force Research Center at Chalmers University of Technology. This presentation will describe a novel detector for coherent optical communications in the presence of nonlinear phase noise. This is joint work with Serdar Tan, Pontus Johannesson, Erika Grell, Peter Andriksen and Magnus Carlsen. The motivation of this research lies in the need to improve spectral efficiency of fiber optical communication. While current systems typically work with on-off keying, with its low spectral efficiency but simple hardware, researchers are now considering coherent communication with high order modulation formats such as 16 quam. However, such formats will require more sophisticated signal processing and are more susceptible to nonlinear effects in the fiber. The system we consider consists of multiple fiber spans with amplifiers in between. The optical signal is subjected to a number of effects. First of all, additive noise in the amplifiers. Secondly, dispersion in the fiber. And finally, nonlinear rotations due to the interaction between the fiber and the optical signal. Assuming the dispersion is compensated in the optical domain with dispersion compensating fiber, we have a simplified model shown below. The fiber loss and amplifier are assumed to cancel out, so all that remains is the nonlinearity and noise, applied successively per span. More mathematically, we write a transmitted signal, S of t, which is a vector signal if we use two polarizations. Here, Pn is a input power, P of t is a transmitted pulse, and An is the vector of transmitted symbols at symbol period n. The input-output relationship of a single span is now quite simple. At the receiver, we assume the signal is filtered and sampled at a baud rate, and our goal is now to recover AK from RK. Existing work has been performed on this problem, but cannot be easily applied to arbitrary constellations. After some math, we can express the observation as a function that contains the transmitted symbols, a deterministic rotation, and two types of angular noise, a very small noise-noise interaction term, and a more significant noise-signal interaction term. The figures on the right show what the received samples look like for different input powers. If we look more closely, we realize that the noise-signal rotation is Gaussian with known mean and variance, but is correlated with an additive noise. This makes receiver design challenging. We are now in a good position to develop practical receivers. The most naive approach is to simply neglect the nonlinear effects. Then we find the traditional minimum Euclidean distance detector for the AWGN channel. A second approach is to only compensate for the deterministic parts of the nonlinearity. A final approach, which is the one proposed in our paper, is to average out the effect of the noise signal phase rotation but neglect the correlation with the additive white Gaussian noise. After some math, the final detector is the one shown on the bottom of the slide. As a benchmark, we have also included a non-parametric detector, which operates roughly as follows. For every possible transmitted symbol, we generate many observations, say a couple of thousand. Based on those observations, we can determine the distribution of the observation conditioned on that particular transmitted symbol. This involves the use of a kernel to smoothen that distribution. We do this for every possible transmitted symbol. Then, when we get a new observation, we can evaluate its probability conditioned on every possible transmitted symbol and choose the most likely one. We are now ready to show some performance results. We will consider a system with dual polarization 16 qam and 22 spans of fiber. The overall bitrate is set to 112 gigabit per second, corresponding to the 100 gigabit Ethernet emerging standard. This slide shows the symbol error rate as a function of the input power. The naive receiver that neglects nonlinearity performs very poorly. Accounting for the deterministic part of the nonlinearity, the detector 2 achieves much better performance. Finally, our proposed detector can further improve on that and is also much less sensitive to changes in the input power. Furthermore, the degradation with respect to the near optimal non parametric detector is small. In conclusion, we have proposed a new detector for coherent optical communication in the presence of nonlinear phase noise. This detector is suitable for any constellation 
and exhibits near-optimal performance for a wide range of input powers. Our future work will include the impact of linear dispersive effects. Thank you for your attention. Please also view our other videos at tinyurl.com slash hymersh.